happy July. I am late, as always, it's fine, you don't care. You understand how this goes. I just filmed a shitload of TikToks. I think I filmed like 10 or 12 TikToks today. I filmed my jewelry launch video for the new pieces for the month of July, even though we're getting to the end here, but I'm gonna try to power edit. I've already got the pieces mostly for August done. Do I have them done? No, I'm like halfway done. So I gotta work on that later. Um, I have a date in a couple days. Today's Monday. I have a date on Wednesday. I have this criteria, right? So like what I did in my in the interest of manifesting the guy that I want, I made a list of all the things that I want in a guy. As I'm like doing this online dating, it makes things so easy. I'm so cutthroat. If one thing is off, I swipe. I'm out. No. So they have to be 5'10 because I'm 5'8. So 5'10 is a minimum requirement. Taller is fine, but I've dated guys my own height in the past and the difference in the way you f it makes you feel is a lot to me, I think. I've never been like a heightist or anything, but I just want to be with a guy who's taller than me. I don't think that's asking too much. I'd prefer to be with a guy who doesn't have kids, which is very hard. I'm 46. It's hard to find a guy 46 who doesn't have kids, but they're out there. My nails are a mess. Let's not judge. I'm getting them done tomorrow. What else? Like there's just a bunch of things. There's just a bunch of things, right? So the guy I'm going out with, he actually ticks a lot of boxes, but not every box. Like there's a couple boxes he's not ticking, but I don't know. I started talking to him randomly thinking nothing of it. The boxes that aren't ticked, I'm kind of letting some of them slide. And most of them are very superficial. I'm going to be dead honest. Like most of them are superficial physical attributes. And, and and I got real specific in my list. So some of it's just dumb, really. Some whatever. Anyway, I'm going on the state. There's still like this weird voice in the back of my head that's like, but he doesn't tick these boxes. So, I don't know. My, it's so funny cuz I, I if you don't know, I was married when I was in my early 20s. And when I first met my ex-husband, I was not attracted to him at all. And he pursued me. He he knew what he wanted and he wasn't afraid to go after it. And I just, there's something about that. Kind strength. He was a, a gentle, kind soul, but confident and strong in that. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? So I'm trying to keep stay open-minded because I'm like, well, you married a guy that you felt this exact same hesitation. You know what I mean? So we'll see how it goes. I never have any expectations, but I haven't been on a date in a hot minute. I just kind of took time off because I was just sick of the bullshit, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah, just sick of the dating scene and the options that I had. Anyway, so I am going away at the end of this week. I did a video on TikTok talking about feeling stuck here, like feeling stuck, feeling lonely. There's no people to hang out with in the town I live. And my friend that did live here moved up north near Tampa, Clearwater, St. Pete. And so I am partnering with a travel company to do a giveaway as it happens. It's gonna coincide with me doing these little mini trips. I decided it's like the best way for me to get out of Dodge, take some time off because I'm overworking myself because I'm lonely. And not lonely in like a desperate sort of way. I just don't have any real friends or like a boyfriend or anything to like go out on the town and not for nothing. There's literally nowhere to go out on the town. There's like some places, but like it's not, it's very, this is a retirement place, you know what I mean? So I'm overworking myself, I'm starting to feel burnt out. So I'm in Florida, there's so many things to see and do here. So I decided, you know what, I think I'm gonna just take little mini road trips like once a month and once every other month to a different part of Florida for the weekend and just explore and film it, like film what I do for TikTok because it's a way to hold me accountable to actually take time for myself. I've always struggled with balance. 
I tend to be a workaholic and yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So next weekend I'm gonna go up um, to the St. Pete Clearwater Tampa area, hang out with a friend. I'm gonna try coffee shops and restaurants and bars and just like see what the area has to offer because I really haven't done any exploring and I've lived here almost two years now. Can you believe that? August 17th is gonna be two years. 17th? No, 20... 17th! I moved here, I hit the road the 17th. I drove four days, so it took four days to get here, but yeah. It's gonna be two years, can you believe? I can't even believe. That went by quick, and I haven't done shit. I haven't explored, I haven't done anything. So I'm like, you know what? I need to take matters into my own hands. I don't need another human being to go do things. Like, I don't. I've traveled to Europe alone, like, I'm fine. It's just a matter of doing it. So that's what's happening. So I wanted to give you an update on my kitchen garden. I think a couple vlogs ago, I showed you guys that I took chives, green onions that I got at the grocery store and I stuck them in water and then I repotted them. So now I have green onion plants, two of them. This one looks a little wonky. I don't really know why. I just fertilized them. So the key, I guess, to growing herbs in your kitchen is you have to give them a good fertilizer because you have to give them nutrients so they give you nutrients because I tried this before and they'll only grow a certain amount of cycles before they're done if you don't fertilize them. So I have my green onions and then this, look at this little baby, how cute. This was from a papaya and I pulled the seeds out of the papaya and I dried them on a paper towel for a couple days and then I planted them in there and I planted probably, I don't know, 15 seeds and only one of them sprouted and I read that that's pretty much, you want to you wanna plant a bunch of them because you'll only probably have one. Um, but this is going to be a papaya tree someday. Like, isn't that the cutest little thing? And then I actually just got some cilantro two days ago and I took a few sprigs out and I'm experimenting. I don't know if this is going to work, if you can even propagate from a cutting like this. But um, I put like, I don't know, what is that? Two, four, five different sprigs in there just to see what happens. Cause I would like to make a cilantro plant, that'd be cool. I'm, you know, working my way up to bigger vegetables, I guess. But with my new ceiling light, it allows me to get more sun. It's raining out right now, so it looks kind of dark in here, but it does allow me to get more sun in here. And eventually I will be putting another one in and I have decided it is gonna go up here so that the kitchen will get more light. And then I can grow more things. So once this, if this does grow roots, I'm gonna put it in there because that was time and it died, RIP. I need to clean my kitchen, so don't judge, but um, tomorrow is a cleaning day, but I wanted to tell you guys, just in case you're a candle burner like me, I was only burning one candle in this house and it was on my coffee table over there. And what was happening was I was getting this black soot on my cabinets and I'm fairly certain it still lives somewhere. I can show you probably back here because I haven't gotten around to wiping these cabinets down yet, but yeah, do you see this like black soot? There, right there. See this? This was getting all over my cabinets. These are white cabinets, so it shows up really obviously on the cabinets. So I found out that it's the freaking candle. And you know, when the candles burn in the air, the soot gets all everywhere. It gets everywhere. It was in my air conditioning filter too. So, all this to say, this is my new solution to the problem because I need candles burning. I need vibes. 
but like this is an LED candle and how real does that look? That's the best fake candle I've ever seen, honestly. I got this on Amazon and they come in a pack of three. So I have one on, I have one beside my bed and then I have another one on my jewelry desk. Cause when I, you know, it's Zen vibes. Like when I'm making jewelry or if I'm like sitting in bed reading or something, I have one in there. You can, there are different like heights. So you can put them as a cluster of three or you can, you know, use them in different rooms. But this is plastic, but it looks like glass and it looks so good and the way that the light flickers and it does have a remote also so you can put it on a timer but how cool right i will link those in case you're interested because good old amazon man coming through totally random but i burnt the shit out of this pan just an overtime sort of thing i think i like searched it on youtube and i guess you can put like dish detergent in there and cook it and it's supposed to clean it. So I'm going to experiment with that and see if it works. If not, I'm gonna just throw it away and buy a new one, I guess, because that's really not cute. What do you guys think? Why are you the cutest puppies ever there was? Hello, I'm on my way to physical therapy. I started physical therapy this month because, well, my back has been really bothering me. I have a curve in my spine. And if you guys have been following my YouTube for like a while, then you might remember back in, I don't know, 2018, 2019 at this point. 2019, I think. I completely threw my back out. Like laying on the floor, can't move, which is insane. But anyway, my back is always hurting me. So it's gotten to a point now where I am constantly in pain, but what's more is that I'm getting numbness in my hands because I think I have a nerve being pinched. It's actually my neck, not really my back that's doing it, but my back is, is jacked up. I mean, it's just, it's a whole, it's a whole mess. So I started physical therapy, but I don't have great confidence in the place that I'm going. I just, I used to go to a physical therapy in California and they like really knew what the fuck they were doing and really helped me a lot. But this place, they don't, just don't seem to, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a retirement community. So I feel like that's their specialty, not something like this. And I know what to do in terms of exercises and stuff, but I feel like that's all they want me to do. And I'm like, I do that at home every day. Like, what what, what am I coming here for? Anyway, that's my preconceived notion because I've only been once so far. So this is my second time. So we'll see what they do today, but I'm doing that. And then I'm getting my nails done because my nails are so jacked up. They're just such a mess. And I am leaving for Tampa in a couple days. So I gotta do that. I'm gonna have a date tomorrow. I told you about the, all that though, I think. So I just got home from getting my nails done. I went with a like a minty green and then I did a glitter accent on my thumb and my ring finger. But I got this package from Profusion. I figured I would show you guys. So I always say how much I cannot stand a lot of the collaborations that are very like juvenile, like the Disney shit. It's just not my cup of tea. But this is a Jurassic Park collaboration. Now, at first thought, I would be like, ugh, whatever. But this is the best, like if a collaboration is gonna take place, it sh this is what it should be. They sent this whole box full of stuff, but just a couple things I wanted to like show you. Like this is like a dual chrome eyeshadow. There are three of these. These look stunning, but like they have a water activated eyeliner palette. How unique is that? Like you never see that. They've got jelly highlighters, which I mean, this shade isn't really for me, but I mean, this one is really pretty. They've got primers and glitter glues. This is another one of those eyeshadows. Like, how gorgeous is that color? They have a mirror, which I think is really cool. 
lip kits. And then they have this massive palette. Now, something like this I wouldn't normally be into, but like, you have to see it. I opened it up and I was like, what? I like wasn't even expecting. Like, can you, can you see these shades? Like, look at how gorgeous the shades are. Like, wow. And then it has little pressed glitters on the side. Like, this is a really nice palette and it's very weighty and it has a mirror inside. Like, this is gorgeous. If it has to be dinosaur, like, why not make it, like, hot pink and teal, you know? So nice. Like, they just, they really did a good job with this. There's even, this little makeup bag has um, these little gems inside. But, like, pretty ones. Like, little pearls. How cute! And the bag is, like, this holographic, like, very pretty. I love the Profusion blushes, so this is another cream blush. There's two of them in here, so like very excited to try this out too. Like I will definitely be reviewing these products on my TikTok and my Instagram Reels and also YouTube Shorts. So look out for that. So I am about to shoot some insert clips for my jewelry video. I figured I would just show you some of the jewelry. So this one is called the Deacon Necklace and it's wrapped with two 24 karat gold fill chains and it comes with a customizable um, 24 karat gold fill Zodiac charm. And uh, also it has a two inch extension on it. Totally a statement piece. I feel like you guys really like the statement necklaces, so I wanted to add some new ones. And I love mixing the chain with the gemstones. I feel like it gives it such an edgy look, and I decided to do the charm kind of off to the side. When you layer this with other things, it just looks so cool. Right now, I only have it in white, black, and silver, but I like the um, hematite because you can layer this with silver pieces if you like silver jewelry because you're essentially mixing metals. You've got the silver from the hematite and then the gold from the chains. I am gonna offer this in other stones by request. Like if somebody, if you wanted this like, let's say in like amethyst or carnelian or malachite or something like that, Stones that I already offer in this size, which is eight millimeter, I'll custom make them. But for now, to keep things simple on the website, I'm just doing three neutral colors. My next earring um, is the, oops. this is called the retrograde earring. It's three hoops with four millimeter beads in between. I wanted to add another dangly earring because I have two shorter styles and one long style. So I wanted to do one another long style. So I have variety. The girls who love short, there's something for you there. And the girls who love long, there's something for you. All. Then you guys requested the balance bracelets. So this is a compliment to the balance necklaces. I do only have these on the site in five stones, but again, if you want something that isn't there just let me know but these are really cute and then the last necklace i just put it on here for easy ease of seeing it and shooting it um but they are star shaped gemstones and they have a gold edge this is dalmatian jasper and i have it with a gold fill zodiac charm as well so this is called the star sign see what i did there um, and the chain is 24 karat gold fill. And this also comes with an extension, a two inch extension. And so yeah, I have seven different stones. So I have um, right here just on hand, we have Labradorite and Rose Quartz, so pretty. And I have Lapis Lazuli, Blue Jasper, White Quartz, Black Onyx, like just a bunch of different colors because when you're layering, I, I love the monochromatic look or at least stones that complement each other. So this is the, these are the four things. I'm about to shoot them right now. 
so I can get that video up for you guys. It's probably gonna be late because it's just how I roll. Okay, I can't even believe this just happened to me, so I needed to share it with you guys. So I told you how I had a date and it was scheduled for tonight and I'm like clearly on my way to the date, all ready to go. My hair is up for now because I curled it, but I'm gonna take, I was planning to take it down. And I like text the guy and I'm like, hey, I'm on my way. And this motherfucker's like, don't go. I'm in Naples, which is like two hours away. I didn't hear from you. And I'm like, what? We confirmed last night. Like I was busy all day. Like I didn't know that he needed me to ch check in with him every fucking five minutes. You know, we like had a plan and we confirmed. So then he's like, oh no, I've had a terrible day. He tried backpedaling. Like first he tried to blame me. Then he starts backpedaling where he's like, I, I forgot I was so busy blah 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 like well I'm on my fucking way to the restaurant yeah so wow like I don't even have words honestly here's my makeup though I tried the lawless of one the baby one palette and it's really nice I really like it it's very like mauvey cranberry tones Anyway, I'm just like flabbergasted. I don't even care because I think I told you guys like I was just going to go. Like he's not even really my type per se. But I was like trying to go to like get myself out of the house and like, you know, be social and like interact with other humans. And he seemed really cool. But the like I'm a planner. Like, I planned my whole day around it. Like, my schedule, my filming schedule, when I got ready, like, everything. Like, that's fucking disrespectful. I'm sorry. I don't have the fucking patience, the tolerance for that kind of disrespect. And if that's what you're doing on, like, date one, mm-mm. Nah, man. So I'm now in my pajamas, and I'm about to watch Virgin River on Netflix. I've got some serious golden hour going on here. But like, I just reread the text messages because I was like, is it me? Like, did I misunderstand? So like last night we were texting and I sent the last text, right? He never texted me today. And then I, t I said, hey, I'm on my way. And he's like, don't go, I'm stuck in Naples. I got stuck in Naples, I didn't hear from you. Like, if you got stuck in Naples and you weren't going to make it, why wouldn't you text me and say, I'm not going to make it? Like, if the burden is on me? And then my response was like, what do you mean? We confirmed last night. And then he's like, I've had a terrible day. I forgot I was so busy. And then I just said, okay. And then he's like, I'm so sorry. And I'm like, no worries. I didn't get very far because I was only like a mile from my house, right? But then he, like, he didn't respond after that. But like, how fucked up is that? Like first he tries to blame me that he didn't hear from me, but he's the one who got stuck. Like men are fucked. Like dating is fucked. This place is fucked. This is my boyfriend. Forever and always, this is my boyfriend. He's loyal. He'd never stand me up, would you buddy? You're the best. <laughs> We're gonna watch Virgin River. It's way better anyway. Plus like, I'm about to get my period and I'm just so bloated. I just, some months I have so much more inflammation than other months. And this is one of those months where I am so inflamed. I have so much water weight on me right now. And it just, makes me feel gross. So I'm sitting here in my car looking like absolute trash. I'm in Dunedin and I haven't vlogged. I'm leaving, I'm going home and I did not vlog. I vlogged for TikTok, 
But because everything is vertical, I kept forgetting to get horizontal video. It's very confusing, and I wish that we could just streamline this process. But like, I drank alcohol last night and the night before, and I haven't drank in like several months. And like, look at how swollen and puffy I am. My skin is so dehydrated. I'm so like inflamed and it it's so interesting to see how your body tells you alcohol is bad when it doesn't have it for a while i feel like garbage i ate like garbage i kind of you know for me you might not think it was garbage but i do um and i drank alcohol and you know i tried to have fun but i am actually heading out now I will insert some of the vertical clips of Dunedin. Like, the downtown area is so cute. It reminds me where I used to live in Manhattan Beach in California. It's The, the vibe in this place is so similar to a sleepy beach town in California. I love it here. I wish that I my house was here. I wish I could live here. And this is only like an hour and a half, two hours from my house, so it's not super far, but yeah it's awesome here and so yeah I'm gonna insert some clips so you guys can see but I did meet up with my friend because she lives here and we had dinner and drinks both two nights in a row we kind of went to the same places <laughs> so many little bars shops restaurants things to do and, and everything's in walking distance and this is a dog friendly place so every place allows dogs and they have dog menus on the, the at the restaurants which i just think is so cute but anyways so i am actually heading to dunkin donuts because a bitch needs her coffee and then i actually went yesterday to target because there's super target here and so you know I had to. And I bought a pair of shorts and um, I decided I didn't like them. I ended up at Nordstrom Rack and I bought a pair of shorts there and I liked those better. So I'm gonna return the Target ones on my way back. And then I gotta go pick up my pups cause I think Ranger's having a tough time. He's been super clingy to my mom. So I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to seeing them. It was a good break. It was a good break but yeah i'm ready to get back so i just finished editing the vlog and realized i didn't do an outro so thanks so much for hanging out with me this month i love you guys so much and i will see you guys in the next one i just want to hold you i just want to look into your eyes and tell you that i want you